I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today is going to be scented Saturday. So we are going to do some of my scented products. Unfortunately, some of them are back at home and I'm in my hotel. So I don't have as much as um, I would like, but we're going to go ahead and at least use some of the stuff that I do have today until I get to go back home and get some more of my scented products. So, um, and I know uh, yesterday was a fail with the Winky Luxe palette. Um, I want to try the other one, and it's supposedly scented, and it's got a little bit different um, uh, color scheme. It looks like this one's about to fall out, though, which sucks because I didn't travel. I drove here, so I didn't fly it does have it's a, actually a little bit more scented um than the other one they were both supposed to be coffee scented but this one seems to be a little bit more scented so maybe the formula will be better and of course my shimmer shade is what is all cracked which sucks but we'll go ahead we are going to start with the shade Afogato for the transition shade. Ooh, yeah, this is just as powdery as the other one. And I figured it would be like that because I'm sure they're all the same formula, just a different color scheme. So. With these palettes, anyway, I've never tried anything else from Winky Luxe, so I don't know if it's just these palettes that are so powdery, but definitely do your eyes first. And I already primed my lid, so. Okay, so that was just, that color is so light that I pretty much just set um, my primer which so I'm gonna go in with the shade cappuccino and put that in the crease yeah, this is these are so so powdery so much kickback in the uh, Pan. But you know, I got this at Target's, and I don't know how much it was, but I'm sure, sure it was, if I had to guess, like 10 bucks or something, I don't know. Which is still, you can get a Wet n Wild brand um, for, get as many shades for probably the same amount and not have as much kickback I mean that is uh, that's a lot okay I'm gonna try and do maybe a smoky eye and do this espresso shade the stark oh even that's very powdery and put this on the very outer portion The good news, if this ends up being a fail, at least today I'm not going to work. I'm just going grocery shopping and doing some errands. So if I look somewhat crazy, at least I'm not going to work. But at least at work, I, um, I wear a mask all day, so hopefully no one noticed yesterday. See, look at all this horrible fallout all over my face. I mean, you can make it work, just do your eyes first, and then you'll just have to c clean it all up. Um, and it's not really all that pigmented, so you have to kind of build it up as well, and then with all the fallout. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Cold Brew, which is this like gray sh shimmery type shade. And put that, kind of blend that into 
let's try my finger. Even this has fallout. And kick back in the pan. Yeah, it's... Okay, I'm going to try this frappe shade that's about to fall out of the pan and put it as a glitter over. This isn't as bad. Okay, now I'm just going to try to... Maybe take this shade cappuccino a little bit and just kind of blend that. Together. Yeah. Let's just see if I can blend. Out some of the harsh lines. And then put some of this glittery frappe shade over it again after blending. Alright, now I'm going to take this light and sweet shade and highlight my brow bone. I mean, I think you can make, I mean, yesterday at the end, I made it work. It wasn't too horrible for the final product, but yeah, look at my eyes. This is awful. So I'm going to just take one of my scented makeup wipes, the watermelon, and just clean it all up. Look at that. That is just I've never had as bad of a fallout. Yeah, there's palettes I've had fallout, but not like all over my face like this. And both palettes did that, yesterday's and this one. So, oh well. All right, I finished up my eyeliner and mascara. I don't have any scented any of that. Um, if you know of any scented eyeliners or mascaras, let me know and I'll get them and try them. But I'm going to go in with the Wet Mild Rose Primer. And this, if I remember right, this has a slight rose, yeah, it has a slight rose scent. Comment down below if you know of any really good scented makeup that you would want me to do for Scented Saturdays, and um, and I'll do it. Now, I probably won't be able to do every Saturday, especially not until I get home and get all my um, stuff, but I'm going to try. All right, I didn't have any cream products, um, scented cream products, so I finished up my face. I cannot cover this blemish with any concealer or even, and I did use a BB cream, so maybe I should have used um, a full coverage foundation, but even with concealer and whatever, it just kept lifting and I don't know. So I, I have that. But for powder, I have the I Heart Revolution um, coconut scented one. Um, I, I do have the other scents too, peach and banana, but I figured I'll go with the coconut one today and it and the smell is very you can smell the coconut but it's very light so if you don't like scents um, it is a light scent so we'll just I went with this one because it was kind of on the lighter side and I needed to lighten up this foundation.
it's hard because most of my foundations, like these little samples that I've gotten, um, and a lot of them are from um, Perlise, um, is from my subscriptions. So I tell them what, that I'm very fair, but you know, it's hard to match the right shade. So I'm going to make it work. And of course, my favorite, the Butter Bronzer, um, bronzer, um, the donut one, which smells heavenly. This is my favorite. And I do have another palette of theirs. Um, but it's at home. So, I have the All-American palette. <sighs> this smells so yummy. And after I use this, it's so nice because my brush smells like this donut smell for a while. Even after I, I used some of the other ones. Bronzers, oh, so yummy. Oh, it smells like donuts. And I already ate two this morning. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of blend this in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with the other. This is just a regular bronzer. It doesn't really smell, but I'm going to just light this one up. No, it doesn't really smell. For blush, I am going to use my Cherry Coke blush that smells like Cherry Coke. Oops. Wish it was a little bit more scented, but yeah, when I first got it, I could smell more of the scent. Now it's very, very, very light. So the scent, and I, it's not like I've had this for a while. So, I mean, it just pretty much came out. So the scent must go away fast, but not, not the physician formula one. I've had that for a while. It still smells heavenly. And I, that was one of the first ones I got. I ended up getting all four of them because I love the scent. Okay, I'm going to go in with this, I think, Americano for under my eyes. I um, obviously didn't have any scented highlight or anything, so I finished my highlight and my brows, so and now I'm going to go in with this light and sweet again for the inner corner to kind of give that pop. And then I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout. And this is the shade Cotton Candy. I don't know if it really smells like cotton candy, but it does have a sweet scent. Right, now I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last Fruit Fresh Kiwi Watermelon Scented Setting Spray. So, it's been, a while, I, it's been a while since I've used this one, so I can't remember how this sprayer is. Oh, wait. Hold on. 
I always get it all over. <sighs> it does have, it's not a strong scent, but it still has a slight sweet scent. So this is the final look of the scented products. And um, even though, like I said, these palettes are kind of a fail, you can make them work. Just um, remember to do your eyes first. And um, all the other stuff I liked, I mean, not a problem. I, I've actually used them before though, so not a problem. Um, let me know what your favorite scents, uh, scented products are, and I will love to try them. And also, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell right next to it so you're notified of future uploads. And I hope you have a great weekend. Bye!